Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going through Act 6.4.5, all right? And I'm gonna show you guys what I consider to be the easiest path. Uh, you definitely have to bear in mind your own roster, uh, but each of these paths are gonna have a different level of difficulty for you personally, as well as overall. Now, this path here, uh, you'll see here it has Lionheart, it has Arc Overload, and Mirror Image. So, Lionheart means you don't want to reduce or reverse their healing, so no void. Arc Overload means they're going to be periodically getting back uh, health, they're going to regen. Uh, but it's every 20 seconds. That doesn't matter if you bring in someone like, oh, I don't know, Ghost, uh, that can do a lot of damage within those 20 seconds. You basically out-damage it. Um, they may get a regen, but then you have another 20 seconds, and if your damage is sufficient, you don't have to worry about that on over. Uh, now, I'm not sure if heal block works. I believe it does. Uh, the only time where you're going to uh, take a lot of damage is if you reverse it or reduce it. But if you have a champion that can heal block it, you should be alright. Now, you're going to see uh, a little bit later on where I mess up and I don't remember that. Uh, and I brought in someone that was not well suited for this path. Uh, even though a great champion not well suited for this path. Alright, so that first fight went pretty easily and I expected it to. This fight, on the other hand, is the one that I was concerned with. Uh, Dark Hawk is tricky to fight. You want to avoid knocking him down unless it's going to be like the finishing blow or else he's going to keep changing his modes and you really don't want to deal with that. So, what you're seeing me do here with Ghost is basically uh, just doing one-hit combos, one-two-hit combos, and when I get to a special two, uh, I do end up firing it off because I don't want to get pushed to a special three. So I'm going to have to fire something off here, and I'd rather do as much damage as possible, but you see he's in shield mode now. Uh, so now he's much more difficult to deal with, but fortunately, um, Ghost, she does very well when he is in shield mode, but if you're not fighting with Ghost, you want to bear that in mind. Uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced is another one that I often use against this uh, Darkhawk, alright? So, you see here, I'm just taking, you know, lots of damage. You know, it is what it is. I'm just trying to get him down. Now, it's early in the uh, quest. So, my thought here was, if I go down, then I'll just reset. You know, I didn't do that many fights. Just one fight, right? But we got him down. So, I said, alright. Ghost doesn't really need any help if you play her right. Uh, I often don't. So, I take a lot of blocked hits. But since she survived, I said, all right, we'll just uh, see how far we can get. You know, I have plenty of revives at this point. Uh, I'm not in any danger of using units. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but I've never used any units on any story content uh, that's in the game. Not one. I've always used from my stash because I play a lot, so I build up a lot of stash. So I've never needed to use units. I have used items, lots of revives, but it's always been out of my stash. All right, so here we go with gold pool. You see, we're basically just out damaging the region. Ghost is a beast, but if you don't have ghost, any high damage champion will work. Uh, just bear in mind, the arc overload is every 20 seconds. So if you're doing a lot of damage within those 20 seconds, you're still going to be able to do it. Okay? Now, here is where I made a mistake. Okay? 
this team that I came in here with is decent, but Captain America. Now I want you to watch and see what happens to Captain America's health. All right, look at his health. Do you know why that's happening? Now, at the time, I had forgotten about the node and I just saw Captain America's health going down. And I was like, wait, why am I degenerating? So I paused it to see what the debuffs were. And then I saw, that's right, Petrify. So Achoo um, had a reset. So now uh, I know what was going on. The problem is I would have taken someone else in, but of course with the recovery, you've got to go in with the same person. Uh, the way that you want to do that, if you find yourself in this situation, no parries, okay? Because every time I parry, which is my basic style, it puts a petrify, which reduces the healing, which places a degen thanks to the Lionheart node. That is what was taking my Captain America Infinity War out. All right. So in this particular situation, you don't want Captain America Infinity War uh, to have those petrifies. So if you don't have someone on the team, I believe it's a tech, um, which of course I have ghosts. Uh, with a tech, I believe that's where he places petrifies on Harry. So if you don't have a tech on the team, um, I think it's tech, uh, then you don't have to worry about it and you can uh, use Captain America Infinity War parry to your heart's content. But because I did, I needed to intercept a lot more. And I didn't do that. You see, I was just out of sorts here because I realized what I was going to have to do. It was getting me out of my normal gameplay uh, style. And trying to change that up in the middle of a fight is not one of my strong points. Okay. So here, you see, I did get an intercept in there. Fire off a special three. Just trying to do as much damage as I can. Because, again, my normal way of playing him was taken away from me. So we're doing okay here. You know, we've got her almost down. And I'm like, yeah. But then that happened. She just starts attacking the air. And just throwing me off. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm waiting for my opening. She's just swinging, slicing the air. And then finally, she gets me. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. Let's finish her off with Ghost. Uh, I don't think I should have any problem. Because Ghost, of course, doesn't reduce healing. Doesn't try to reverse healing. She doesn't have a lot of buffs that you need to deal with um, with the mirror image. But she does have some. But if you're not getting hit, doesn't really matter. Okay? So, here we are, going back with Ghost. You see she has low health, but she's still putting it down. Okay? So, now we're fighting this Gladiator Hulk. Gladiator Hulk is fairly straightforward to fight. You need to watch out for his smash. Okay? So, you see, after this here, you see that gray icon that just turned yellow? When it's gray, that lets you know that the next time he does an attack, he's going to get a smash. Okay? But he can also get a random smash after his specials or anything like that. So you have to always watch after his actions. Because if he gets a smash and you attack, you're going to get hurt. All right? So no particular champion needed for this path. Of course, I use Ghost because she is my best option. And I'm not going to go in with uh, lesser options if I can help it. Uh, there she goes. She went down. Best option. However, you can still mess up and go down. Um, not really looking to challenge myself. I'm just trying to get this content done uh, as quickly and easily as possible. But hopefully... I'm telling you guys enough information that you'll be able to go through this yourself and uh, take either Ghost, if you have Ghost, or another champion. Because again, this path is good for everyone, but you have to bear in mind, like for example, if you bring Void, 
you're going to have a bad time because that's one of the things Void does. He reduces and reverses healing. And with that arc overload, you're going to be taking a lot of degen damage. So he is a bad option for that. But anyone else that does not reverse or reduce the healing will work. You don't need a heal block champion, but they also will work. Uh, Warlock is a great option. Uh, I'm trying to think of uh, some other options, but uh, that do heal block. Uh, Mysterio um, also does a, a good heal block. Uh, you may even go in, people don't think about him, but Punisher 2099 has a little heal block as well. Uh, Iron Man Infinity War, he can put a heal block on. Um, Dr. Octopus, Doc Ock, he has a heal block as well. So these guys will work, but anyone that can do a lot of damage will also work. All right, so... We're about to take this guy out. He has a natural regen, but we can out damage that regen. It's a lot of regen. You know, he had his own regen. And then we're going to deal with this arc overload. But Ghost, she can handle it. All right. So here we go. Special two. And we don't even have to deal with his special three. But if he did fire the special three off, it wouldn't have mattered. We would have uh, phased and eaten the special three because we have hood the hood on our team now this guy here historically i have had issues with his special two sometimes his special two the timing worked great but there was a period of time where i believe it was broken and the reason that i say that is not to mask my inability to evade his special two but the timing i evaded the exact same way i can evade it now no problem i haven't changed anything um, i was able to evade it before this period of time and i have had other people yeah um i had other people tell me that uh they were able to evade it and then during this special time they couldn't now ironically speaking i didn't manage to evade that one that was my own fault there was nothing to do with the timing of the game. Um, at this point in time, his special two is working fine. I can still make a mistake. Um, the one thing about his special two, if he doesn't throw it the when, uh, you know, exactly when I'm thinking he's going to throw it, I'll evade back a little too early, and he'll fire it off before I can recover. The game will not let you recover that quickly and he can fire it off right before you recover but it's still your mistake see i made up for it there and i evaded it just to show i could evade it um but this one was tricky and i'm always very wary of fighting him because i want to evade that special too and this time he fired off the special one so i don't mind uh the special one there except i can't fully evade it yet i've seen people do it so i know it's possible um but i've not mastered fully evading that special one um but the special two i can evade but it's more dangerous because if you mess up that special two does a lot of damage and then it does the incinerate on top of it it's just a bad day all right so now we've got saber tooth on arc overload no less so he's already gonna regen. The more you hit him, the more stacks of regen he has. But again, you can handle it if you have a champion that can put out the damage. Like Corvus. Corvus can put out a lot of damage. He can do this fight, but you need to be very aggressive. Uh, don't forget about boosts. Just because I don't tend to use boosts during these runs, doesn't mean that they are a bad thing to use you can use a boost and make your life so much easier i went through a variant um, i think it was variant three with ghost to my mvp but on paths with all you know all or nothing where they do not fire any special but their special three i put a boost on a tech boost power even the 150 or the 200 and it made ghost even more old 
uh, you know, overpowered than she normally is. All right. She is insane with that power boost. I went through that path. I mean, it was like butter. Most of the time, they didn't even make it to a special three, and I was able to get two special twos off, which usually took them out. Uh, I remember putting on a tech special, you know, damage boost, as well as the uh, power boost. And I had such an easy time because of it. So do not forget about the boosts. Uh, they can make your life so much easier. Uh, now, if you're going hard in war and you need the boost for there, I can understand that. Um, old habits die hard. Uh, I have not really used the big boy boosts uh, in war for a while because we haven't been serious about Alliance War in a long time. Uh, so I have these boosts. They're maxed, you know, I have max capacity on them. And I just tend to forget about them and I don't use them. All right, so fighting this girl here, Guillotine 2099. One of the things that you want to be careful about is that Digicloak. Uh, if you fire off a heavy, knock her down, uh, it will go on cooldown. Like right now, it's not on cooldown, okay? So if I'm not careful, if I fire off, you know, two attacks or something like that, um, just ignore that, I just messed up. Uh, if I fire off two attacks, I'm going to get that Digicloak active and she's gonna wreck me, okay? Um, but she can be challenging. Uh, her special one, it doesn't matter if you evade it or not, it's always going to do a power drain on you. That can be annoying. Um, but she um, is not that hard to fight if you keep those things in mind. You know, see the Digicloak there? And she wrecked me. You know, and I get tilted sometimes. And when I do, I forget about all of these things that I'm telling you guys. So listen to what I'm telling you, but don't necessarily do what I do. Okay, do what I say, not what I do. Uh, because I'll get tilted, I'll get too aggressive, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. All right, see here, I fired the heavy off. Now it's on cooldown. Now I can fight her uh, like normal, but here it is, it's going away. Now it's not on cooldown again but I was able to fire the special two off, phase that out, all right? And see, I shouldn't have been doing that. She could have easily triggered it, but again, I get, you know, very tilted. Uh, what I should have done was just stick with the one hit combos. She can't evade those. Um, I was able to phase there so that I didn't die from her special uh, three, but then I just took a hit. Don't ask why. Um, why ask why? Drink bud dry, right? Uh, so anyway, uh, these are all mistakes that are avoidable. Uh, at this point, I'm just tired and irritated and just making a lot of dumb mistakes. Okay. Um, this fight should not have been anywhere near this challenging. Okay. Easily one shot, but I got tilted made some mistakes uh, and then they gets to a point where I get upset enough that I get super focused and I say okay you know what no more no more mistakes we're gonna focus in and get this done uh, a lot of times there's other things going on in the background that distract me but in this case it was just me getting tilted all right now we finally come to the end boss, and it's this symbiote, or adaptoid. And we'll take a look here at the nodes, all right? Armor um, Break Immunity, Limber, which is annoying, since I like to parry. Vigor can be annoying. Matador actually can help you out. Um, all the specials are unblockable, Force of Will. Okay, so basically, you're not going to gain power until he fires a special. This can actually help you out, okay, if you play it right. Now, here, <clears throat> I went ahead and went in with Wasp because I wanted to do as much damage as possible, all right? 
all of them are unblockable, but they're easy to evade, at least, you know? And I just messed up. Uh, I was so happy to get the two bars of power and just messed up. Uh, but all of his specials are easy to evade, all right? And I was playing a little nervous here, but it's a fairly straightforward fight. You know, what you want to do is bait out that special one, get your bar of power, bait out a special two, you know, a special one again, and get another bar of power, fire off your special. Uh, depending on who you're fighting with, uh, that is the style you want to, you know, go with. And don't ask me why that keeps happening. Uh, early on, I was sitting here, I'm like, what is happening? I don't get why I was getting hit there. All right. So at this point, I said, let me give Ghost a rest here and get used to the animation fight, whatever, even though it looked like, you know, very easy to evade specials. For some reason, I was having some difficulty. Okay. So down goes Voodoo. Didn't even get a chance to do much of anything. Just ate a five piece. You know, it, it, it was just a mess, this uh, first fight here. And again, I was already tilted from before, making some really dumb mistakes. Um, I have not claimed a lot of my revives. You see that I'm down to two revives, but I have a lot in my overflow still. Um, I have not claimed uh, anything yet. Uh, I believe I still had, at this point, about 20 revives in my overflow. Level one, that is. Okay. So here, I wanted to give Voodoo another shot because Voodoo is one of my favorites. And I was upset that he went out like that. And so I'm like, no way. And then that one, I just went back too early. That was all my mistake again. And I'm like, okay, I need to take a break. But I don't take a break. Instead, I just keep at it. Uh, that's a flaw or a strength, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, I'm very tenacious. And even though I should have taken a little bit of a breather and reset myself so that I could just get this fight down, instead, I just said, you know what? I'm going in. They are not going to do that to me. I hate losing. I'm going in. Okay? So now we're fighting with Captain America Infinity War. Remember, he went down, sadly, uh, to my incompetence. All right. So you see here, we're getting it done. Okay. At least we didn't die to the special. All right. And we're at a special three. Now, I might have wanted to fire off a special two, but I'm still trying to get used to evading these specials, which are easy to evade, but yet somehow I managed to get hit by them repeatedly. Okay. So here I want to bait out another special. Okay, there we go. Got that. And then bait out another one. Now we've got a special two up. Okay. And see here, I just want to keep baiting out those specials. Keep firing off uh, those special uh, threes. Uh, I was thinking about a special two, but I believe a special three is uh, better. Uh, special threes can't crit, in case you didn't know. Uh, so, we're just basically if, um, baiting out your specials and firing off a special three. It's a slower way to do it, but it works. So, if you have someone who has a very strong and powerful special three, you're going to have a very good time with this. You just have to bait out three specials, fire your special three. Uh, I... I haven't, I don't remember if I, yeah. Um, I haven't gone back in yet, but I can't remember if I ever saw someone take in, like, say, Havoc uh, against this particular boss. But I would suspect that those with a very strong special three, like Havoc, would do extremely well in this fight. You know, this fight, you know, I'm focused in at this point, okay? Uh, I died enough, and my anger has gone all the way to the other side. You know how it just gets to that 
cool stage. And now I'm extremely focused, okay? And all I'm doing, I'm just baiting specials, firing special threes off. That's it for the rest of this fight, I believe. Um, it's been a little while since I did this, so uh, I'm watching it back again and I'm remembering uh, as I'm doing uh, this video here. But uh, as far as options for this particular fight, I didn't see anything that would prevent you from bringing in a wide variety of champions. Okay, Captain America does it. Void, uh, I believe, might work as well. Um, but pretty much anyone, I'm trying to think if there's anyone that would have a big problem with this. As long as you can evade the special like you see me doing here, this particular style, um, voodoo would have worked. Uh, I just kept messing up because uh, I was tilted and just not my, I was just off. I kept trying to evade and I had my timing off. Now I'm like in the zone uh, and I'm just ripping him up. But it is slow going and I don't like long fights. I tend to lose focus, but I got upset. And so right now I'm kind of hyper focused, okay? But yeah, a wide variety of champions, I believe, will work for uh, this particular boss. So when I go back in here with, uh, you know, to do my exploration, I'm probably going to uh, bring a few other champions. Uh, Ghost. Ghost could um, definitely do this as well, I'm thinking, but... She might not be the best option, but she might. I think she would work just fine. Uh, you wouldn't cycle special threes. You would probably cycle your special twos. Um, but yeah, I think she could work just fine. Just get that evade timing down and I think you'll be golden. So when I go back in here and I fight him, I think I'll do a much better job uh, the next time through. Because uh, like I said, these specials are easy to evade even though I had a hard time with them earlier. Okay, so you see here, we just have the same formula uh, for the rest of the fight. All right, so that's gonna do it for the video, guys. We're coming to the end, as you can see, of the fight. Hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully you were entertained by me just messing up. I'm human. As you can see, uh, I play okay. I'm not the best player, but I get things done. Okay, so that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, click like if you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. Leave a comment. Let me know if you found it helpful. If you have any questions, let me know those too. I'll try to answer your questions. Uh, if you haven't given me a subscription, feel free. And you all have a blessed day.